Okay, so let's see what we're going to do next. Um, like I said, click on there. We're already normal to. Whoa, no, 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 no. Normal to this side, please. Thank you. Um, create a new sketch. Oh, I forgot to name this one. This one was four, right? Feature properties is four. Okay. Right click, create a new sketch. Now I have a new sketch. All right, we said the three was going to go like this. So let's smart to mention it. Choo, choo. Side is, size is 0.15. The distance from here to here, 0.175. The distance from here to here is 0.175. My sketch is fully defined. See if I click on it, see it already says, it says fully defined. So this is actually really cool. It's how you know it's fully defined because it says so. All right, so I'm going to click on that sketch and I want to create a pattern again. But remember, I want it to go this way. So what do I do? Now what I'm going to do is I say, well, I want three of them, and I want to do this. See what that's doing? It goes up. Now I can increase the distance to kind of eyeball it in, but ultimately I'm going to go ahead and define it manually. So go ahead and click check for the linear pattern. Smart to mention this guy on this side, 0.175, chunk, chunk. 0.175 and now everything's fully defined again click check and exit sketch the sketch is fully defined I want to create an extruded cut check and now if I um, hold the scroll wheel and spin I can see it's it's just absolutely beautiful all right feature properties call it face three what more could you want out of life it's beautiful all right, my next step is going to be to create the two. And if I'm looking at the three, the two is on the left. Okay. So I'm going to right click, say normal two. Now I'm going to right click and say sketch. Again, I'm creating a brand new sketch. I'm going to create a thingy up here, a circle would be the name of that. It's got a diameter of 0.15. It is located 0.2. From here, oops, smart dimension, center, kachonk, kachonk, point two, center, kachonk, kachonk, point two. All right, it's fully defined. You can tell also because it's black. Whenever it's black, that means it's fully defined. Um, let's see, check mark. Now I'm going to click this again. If you click linear sketch pattern and it doesn't work, it means you didn't select it first. So make sure you select it and then click linear sketch pattern. Now again, I want the two to go this way. I can't say negative 45 degrees, but instead I can say 315 degrees. Okay, so it's gone from here around 315 degrees going that way. So there we go. And I'll go ahead and I'll manually fix the other end, but this should be a good start. So smart dimension from here to here, I want that to be 0.2. And from here to here, I want that to be 0.2. Good. Beautiful, right? Click, exit sketch, extruded cut, 0.9 or 0.09. And check, yep, that's what I want. Right click it, change the feature properties to face two. Excellent. The last step is to put face 5 on here. So I want to right click it, normal 2, and now I'm going to put on the fifth face. Here I can do a linear pattern for the 4, but I'm going to have to add the center one in manually. So I'm going to add or create a new sketch, put in a circle, smart dimension, 0.15, that was pretty close. These are all going to be arbitrarily located 0.15 away. And again, I made these numbers up. This isn't like standard bicycle die, whatever requirements. This is just stuff I made up. All right. And again, you know it's fully defined because the sketch turned to black. 
Okay. So click OK. Now I click linear sketch pattern and it's weird and nothing happens no matter what I do. This is because I did not have this selected. The circle needs to be selected. See how it's fully defined? Select the circle, click linear sketch pattern. I want two going this way and I want two going the other way. Again, I have to reverse the direction. I'm going to go ahead and spread them out a little bit, but I am going to have to manually go in there and fix it because it's just not going to line up the way I want. So smart dimension from here to, ah, from here to here, 0.15, from here to here, oh, I already did that. So I don't want to do that again, so I'm going to hit the escape button. I'll have to re-click smart dimension. So from here to here, 0.15. Now, if we dimension this guy, we should be in good shape. From here to here, 0.15, and from here to here, 0.15. Now, I have to add the guy in the middle. So, I'm going to add to my sketch. I'm not creating a new sketch. I'm adding to this existing sketch. Smart dimension it at 0.15. And I know that from here to here is 0.35. And again, it's blue, so it's not fully defined. So from here to here is 0.35. Now your scroll wheel actually works the opposite of what maybe you think it should insofar as zooming in and out. So make sure you get comfortable with how that works. There's a way to manually change it if you care as much, but you don't have to. So I always like to make my dimensions look pretty. Remember you nest them, the littler dimensions go closer to the inside than the bigger dimensions. Um, and again, I'm gonna hit F to um, fit it into the area. Good. Everything looks fully defined or everything is fully defined so I'll exit the sketch. I know everything's fully defined because here it's there's no minus sign next to it. So now I'm going to create an extruded cut here and I'm going to right click it feature properties are face 5. So now if I hold the scroll wheel and look I can go ahead and make this beautiful beautiful little die and it's exactly what I want it to be, um, and, and it works perfectly. And it's, it's really not terrible to create, but I guess the, the things you need to remember is if as you're creating it, things don't go right, just delete it and start over. Use Control-Z to undo, use Escape, um, and you can, of course, use your Control-1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I mean, mine don't line up to what the control buttons are, but I don't really care. Um, those are what we're looking at insofar as getting it all getting it all put together. Um, if you want to make sure that the holes don't interfere with each other, something else you can do is you can go to the wireframe. So if you're worried that things might be touching, in fact, it looks like this one. Oh, no, see, it doesn't touch. These two don't touch. Um, I don't think I'm touching. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of not touching. None of my holes seem to overlap, so that's good. So you can do that and make sure that nothing's nothing's bothering each other. Um, that's a fun little fun little thing to check to be sure of as well. But in general, now you've got a fabulous die and you're ready to move.